as most of you know, the most widest demographic of individuals that watch anything affiliated with Delray Misfits, Big Lenny, the father bedroom bully, Prince Andrew, Meow Man, Jason Genova, and Big Brad Wolf know that our demographics are usually young males in their teenage years to 40, for the most part. Although we have recently added many females, many people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and many preteens, which is fine. You will not be led astray, I can guarantee you that. However, this topic is very important. There's a difference. And don't listen to the pop culture or the sex uh, therapists. They're promoting a bad message, and here's why. Everyone seems to promote the effects of masturbation for health, stress relief. They're claiming in men it lowers incidences of prostate cancer. But what they don't tell you is there's a difference between that and a masturbatorium and an ejaculatorium. Now, an ejaculatorium, when you ejaculate, when a male ejaculates, you're releasing certain hormones. Oxytocin being one of them and prolactin. Now, these are counter-regulatory hormones. And they cause you to, say for instance, be a little weaker. They take the edge off you and they can take the fight out of you and the drive out of you. And there's a difference between raising testosterone through looking at women or whatever, envisioning yourself fighting somebody, something masculine, something along that nature, doing something in the gym, lifting a certain amount of weight, a certain amount of reps. That can help. However, when you ejaculate and they cookie cutters call that no fap when you don't ejaculate it causes a great strain on the body and the recovery system and these types of hormones are they're released you don't want it to dip it on too often so never confuse the two and when the sex therapists say this that and the other they're talking about masturbation now what i'm saying through my past experience I hardly do that at all. And you know, a lot of you can say, yeah, because you're, you know what, doesn't work well. And that's true, possibly to diabetic related effects. And I'm not going to sit on my high horse saying, hey, I don't do it, but point my finger at a teenage boy who's at a peak hormonal and physical shape and say, oh, you're wrong for doing it. But I can tell you, it definitely makes you more aggressive when you don't. It makes you, to me it does, it makes me less anxious. Now, I think when you people would ejaculate, you know, a proven fact, you will reduce anxiety to a point. It's like using certain uh, medications to achieve an effect of a dopamine release, which you get from that. However, you also get prolactin release, and that's going to put you on the shelf for a little while. And as most top fighters and strong men know, you're not out there doing that, you know, hours before a fight or a world's strongest man or a powerlifting contest, no. Or a football game, something like that, no, you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is... And this, again, there's a lot of moral and uh, ethical dilemmas to this, and I'm going to explain that too. It does say in the Old Testament that Onan, O-N-A-N, he spilled his seed to the wayside, and that displeased God. Now, back in the Old Testament days, if a man, say, had a wet dream or something like that, they would have to go out of where everyone was sleeping and wash himself before they come back because they were considered unclean. And 
it is true when you spill your seed to the wayside are you what are you doing with it are you procreating with it no we've all done it i know i'm not to point any fingers but i just want to show people what the ideal way is and remove some confusion so the no fap as the cookie cutters say is the way to go i guarantee you that 100 percent. now when you're those that are masturbating to pornography you're heading down a bad bad road and i'm going to talk about that in another live but you know we've all done it can't say i've done it done it much regular lately but again what's why i'm here is doing these because all the mistakes i made we can learn from it and you can further yourself in other areas of some, some of these distractions of life that we all face that are keeping us on a lower level as again i've reiterated many times we should be living on a much higher standard much in society much higher standard to where where technology is being developed and we're doing things that we never could have thought possible but again life's hang-ups and simple short-term pleasures hold us back every time so don't let that stuff hold you back and if you want to increase testosterone and i am going against what says in the bible because this is not the way what you think this is pointing out the long sins of the hypocrites which is the worst thing to be as a hypocrite Jesus said, as long as you have lust in your heart and your mind, it's basically the same as, as fornicating. So there you go. All those people that point their fingers, they have lust in their eye, their heart and their mind. You're no different than the fornicators. And however, you can use that. And it's done in a normal everyday part of life. Women should always inspire you. And quite frankly, they're not taught that now, but they're still out there. You can do it. To procreate, have a family, want to impress a woman, those type of things. And keeping yourself mentally and physically strong and ready to go at any time is the way to do it. Don't sap your energy, sap your strength ejaculating we're spilling your seed to the wayside so anybody you know leave your comments they're all fantastic i do read them all and any suggestions criticisms please please this is the place to do it again you're talking to the most honest man on youtube and that's my goal in life is to provide information and develop forums that we can have discussions on these things and to take each and every one of us, male, female, young, old, black, white, whatever, to another level as human beings, but all remaining humble and knowing where we come from and where we're going. So, and now I'll answer a few questions and I have a nice bottom round roast cooking in the oven a three pounder which is a very economical way to eat your beef as it's uh six some six dollars a pound and great source of protein seasoned with sea salt garlic powder and onion powder very simple to make how do we get traps like me deadlifts, partial deadlifts, any kind of power clean, pulling weight off the floor, and shrugs. I've done them all. Barbell, dumbbell, machine, and that's all. And you have your calories to a point where the body parts develop, and I'm going to be honest with you. Traps are one of the muscles that respond to androgens. So if you see a football player, well, you know, it's hard to see unless they're, if they're not in their pads. If you see a wrestler bodybuilder with gigantic traps believe me there's plenty of gear use there because 
when you get off the gear, the traps go down quite a bit. It's just the amount of receptors they have there. So that's good to hear, Camden. Wow, the doctors was person. That's great, Camden. That's that's so touching. I've unbelievable. It is no coincidence. Thoughts on the Russia-Ukraine conflict? The way the Ukrainian president's acting, it's going to be a surrender. I don't think anybody's at. I mean, once his missiles start to fly, Cleveland, that's going to be shut down real quick. Is the Russian army a threat? Yes, they're definitely a threat. But that's, I think it's just a lot of smoke and a lot of threats. Thoughts on Rob Zilla? Hey, he's a good guy. Great friend, great brother. Great memories of life with Rob Zilla. Great athlete, too. Very good. One of the best squatters I've ever seen. Eddie Hall of the Mountain. I'm picking Eddie Hall. He's very intense. Woo! Ric Flair. Trying to test when you get drafted for World War III. Hey, the Army should be giving out some type of protocol like that. Cody. Yeah, I could take you as an apprentice. When was the last time I was with a tan? God. I can't even remember. A tan of any kind. Yeah, I can't. Maybe September, August. Do I, Lenny, do you really smoke crack, P. Rucka? No, I never really smoked it. I've inhaled it. Not even 10 times, maybe about eight or nine times. Very overrated. Very overrated. DNP protocol, number one, you better make sure your source is legit and does correctly. I can't stress that enough. Test with 400 milligram? Yes, it's a very good dose. Sure, I'm doing gear cycles. Pretty much have to at our age right now. But I still think Mr. G is a threat. He's never a threat. He was an opportunity to provide ments. Just have to get the finances going. I'll talk about natural GH release in another topic. Thank you, Dayuswa. Thank you, Boris Dirtnop. Do we believe we are in the end times? Close to it. How do you build your forearms? Mainly by using, not using straps. Do power cleans, heavy dumbbell shrugs, don't use straps if you can. That type of thing, first and foremost. Secondary would be wrist curls and reverse curls, but I just think the act of holding a heavy barbell without a strap will definitely strengthen you. I haven't talked to Andrew in about three weeks. That one guy, I will be eating whole eggs pretty much every day for the rest of my life. KB Vascular, the best trainer in the world. I've read bits and pieces of the Talmud online. The liberals and you know what don't have any control over the country unless we let them. And some cookie cutters let them. I'm in the sun as, every day as much as it's out there, as much as I can. If it's out there, particularly when I get up, I'm out there. You got to get that for many, many reasons. Many, many. I'll go into that later on another one. Canada needs to set the example. We should be sending troops 
to the Canadian border. <laughs> Putin's a great leader. He has all the qualities you want. He's not a warmonger. You can't say that. Wouldn't you like if he was the president of this country? Sarah Lindsay, what can you take to lose weight? It's not what you take. It's basically what you're putting in. There's two, two things behind losing weight. Take in less calories. And the other thing is take in more protein and reduce your carbs and fat calories. But preferably you want to reduce your carb calories because those are the most, the least nutrient dense, the least ones that your body need. So, Rob Dalton, where do I get my GH? There's an online source. But I don't order it. I mean, find out online yourself a good one. Colombian 10, 10, 10. Well, you got yourself into it. There's really not much you could do. Just try to get yourself out of it. And know that that stuff needs to be controlled, that 10, 10, 10 nonsense. Thank you. How do you I heal sciatica? Blood flow. Through... The glued ham machines start off light, get the blood in there. Regular hyperextensions. Stretching maybe on a chinning bar. Let those discs open up. Good nutrition and sleep. Those are the best things to do for sciatica. And avoid it. Just go light and get the blood in there. Master on testy trainees for a good cut cycle. Sure. I'd recommend I recommend a good cut cycle about 500 to 750 tests. Ananthate, 50 milligrams trinacetate every other day and 100 milligrams master on every other day. With a good diet, that should work real, real well. Also, you may need some thyroid. Check check your thyroid so it's functioning. Good pre-workout for guys on insulin. Well, Weird Energy was great, and we still have some in stock we can't get to now, but thank you, Crusher. Family style. But me, personally, I've been, I went off all pre-workouts with stimulants. And to tell you the truth, I'm feeling, I'm doing good, doing good on this. Still bounce the pecs. We have some residual stock locked away right now, and we'll let you know when they're, they're free for sale. I don't think Putin's on a power trip at all. That cycle looks good for contest prep. Looks very good. Very good cycle. Thank you, Rob B. How can we combat the obesity epidemic? Simple. Up the protein in the diet. Do I think Leo and longevity is a snake? Oh, I think he's a genius. And I think everyone should be watching him as well as I do. You're going to learn things you've never even heard about watching this show. Thoughts on Terry Crews? Uh, he's just a long line and a lot of cookie cutter actors. Ex football player trying to cash in, ex wrestler. Same gimmick, nothing special. Sure, I'd marry a woman of any race, any, any nationality. As long as she cooks and wants to have a strong family and has simple common sense values. As a protein supply in Florida, well, I'm very, very lucky to be sponsored by New World Nutritionals. And their owner, Plato, supplies me with 
the whey isolate I need and the liver gallbladder cleanse. So check out New World Nutritionals, best protein on the market. And where you live, where you have a protein d dilemma, to me, that's ridiculous. What is this world coming to? Show off the arms. As you can see, they're lean. Saunas definitely have health benefits. Anytime you sweat, you're cleansing your body. Of course, I don't see the point some of these summer days in Florida. That you already have a sauna right there. So, at my peak, I was doing <laughs> probably 10, 15 tablespoons of fennel about a day. This is probably almost 10 years ago. And as I learned from Leo Longevity, that could have been dangerous. And those two days I took off, I, could, I didn't want to get out of bed. So you talk about a bad side effect. <laughs> Can someone still fight you up back? Yeah, but, you know, it's, you have to have a purse, and I need a minimum amount of money to fight. I mean, that's reasonable. Peck bounce. <laughs> Lenny History Month. Arms are about 20. How's life right now? Good. Learning, 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 learning. Yeah, it is crazy. The amount of phenom that I did at one point. Four or five pound bench, good form is great for 200. Thank you, Sicilian cannoli and Dan Espresso. We're all in, in this together. I will do anything we can to get your head up. Sicilian cannoli and give me a DM if you ever have something they want to talk about privately. We can go over it for sure. Hey, Jesse, how are you? Shalom, Roy. I just regret, you know, with different uh, the demographics, we haven't been able to do a podcast of any sort, but hopefully in the next few months that'll change. We can at least get something out there, whether by Zoom or whatever. My best advice for an endomorph is Train to build muscle just like anybody else. Don't do anything special. Don't do cardio for hours like some would recommend. Train to build muscle. And I'm talking about endomorph, ectomorph, mesomorph. And you know what? Pretty soon, in a few years, people won't know what those cookie-cutter terms are because they'll think, they'll think all of you guys are mesomorph. So that's how to think. I think those comments are a little overblown. Canada, oh my God. What is going on in Canada with that government? Disgusting. And I was going to move up there. Jeez. Yeah, I've talked to Bard about a podcast. I got to get back to him. I don't want to impose, but hey, this is the maniacs we're talking about. Very powerful cycle there, Michael Thunder. Very powerful. Christine has been in Milan, Italy for a few years now. She's married with children, so she hasn't been there in a long while. If you aren't vaccinated in Canada, you can't leave. Good Lord. That's terrifying. How can you and your wife spice it up in the bedroom? Easy. Both of you get into the best shape you can. Some nice, thick, sexy muscle for the both of you. Quit eating the junk food. Become 
bodybuilding fanatics. That'll spice up your sex life. Get on some PEDs, too. I wouldn't recommend shooting insulin and going to bed unless you've eaten. Fenabut feels like... It's, it's a pretty good feel. It's, but then again, most feels like that temporary overrated. You're scaring me about Canada, KFC snacker. You're scaring me. Something got to be done. Yeah, Christina should be the queen of Italy. That's a great idea, Kaizen Productions. There's the chest and the arms and the shoulders. 310 pounds. Thank you, Jesse. KFC snacker, I'm going to do it for you. At this point, you got to be diligent. You actually have to play the game. Don't speak out against it. Play the game. Be like a spy because that's technically what you are. You're in an occupied territory now. So you're on spy level. Think about that. And you gotta you gotta pray. I will pray for you too. Everybody pray for Canada because it's serious, serious internal strife. Legs are doing good, the shins are ripped up. No. That's right, Greplink. Jump tube. KFC snacker, I just, I feel horrible about it. That's ridiculous. Hey, Darnell Reyes. It's a nice 70, about 71 degrees. Little humidity, not much. I think we got some rain here hours earlier. But I'm out too, Frankie. Yes, I've taken long check years ago. It seems to give an effect. Gets the blood flow going. Well, so <coughs> moral of this live is don't ejaculate so much as much as you can. Keep it in there. Keep the fire burning. Be ready for anything. Be ready for war. Look at the time we're living in. Educate yourself on a daily basis. Think before you speak. And keep watching Big Lenny Show, Big Lenny Lives, and Misfit Related Material. Because this isn't necessarily for entertainment these lives for education and interacting with the maniacs. Yeah, I got a, I got a rose coming. So any tips for improving eyesight? Yes. Don't look at the sun, but get the sun in the morning where you're out in it. It works wonders. Also your vitamin A, don't get the beta carotene, get the, uh, uh, the other version. Eat your carrots with your salad at night and Andrew Kalori, I saw him squat six six fifteen for twelve on his nineteenth birthday. And I saw him deadlift. This was off the floor. I think it was six. 605 for 10. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Love you too. Love all the maniacs. Uh, Dorian Yates, just watch the lives. Keep watching the lives. Better for protein. I wouldn't eat raw chicken.
My favorite carb source for muscle gain is potatoes, followed by rice, followed by bread. Thank you, Quick Bump. Yeah, we miss Zilla too. And Azumi and Gooey's, we had some fun times down there. Good, clean fun. No hate. Andrew Kalor was Larry Will's strength, or even better on some things. Kyle Kirby, he, that was all. Andrew Kalor was right in that category, if not stronger. Ronnie Coleman, much stronger. He was stronger than world class power lifters at a very, very young age, which. Let me tell you, I don't want to uh, make anybody depressed, but you got to get those big weights and big numbers and big body weights at a young age to get those kind of lifts. You really do. And I'll go over how you can do that on another live because I plan on doing these regularly. It's just a matter of f financial funding to come to the UK. How do you get over a girl? Make yourself busy, go to the gym. Use her as motivation, knowing that there are plenty of other girls. It takes time, but you'll get over it. Hector, it's good to hear. We love the bean eater maniacs. They have a lot of intensity and passion. And they don't, they're not the uh, sensitive type. They don't go crying if someone says there's a certain racial name about him like me people call me a Polak when I supposed to do cry you should laugh about it because there's plenty of you know what's in prison because somebody called them the n-word and they went out and killed him or something like that pretty stupid when you once you think about it right hate to say it but it's true sticks and stones break bones but words can't hurt you Good age to start P TRT. It's basically what your levels are, your test levels. I think it's great that, you know, they're up in a freezing cold. I mean, that's not easy doing what they're doing, those truckers. It's not easy at all. But they're making the best of it, and they're showing the world the example. So God bless them. I love you too, Dorian Yates. That's right, getting upset over a word, an insult. I'm happy about it because that's constructive criticism. How do you get a fuller chest? Number one, all the size comes from diet. Make sure you're eating correctly. I'll go over that again in another live. Make sure you're feeling in the chest, get the blood in there. Dumbbells probably work better than barbells on presses and Sometimes a pec fly can actually work the pecs more than a dumbbell fly and be safer on the shoulder. So I want everybody to check out Mike Van Wick. It's called Wicked Training. That's a big guy, ex-football player, ex-bodybuilder. You know, he used he had the Andrew Kalura type strength when he was younger, but he was able to make further gains in muscle mass and teach others how to use the weights as tools to gain muscle kind of like he has a football mentality. You're hardcore, but you're also technical. So check out his videos. Mike Van Wick, Wicked Training. That's something I watch, every one of them. I wouldn't eat raw chicken breast. I'd, I'd, I'd do more research on that. I was supposed to go to Brad Manor today, but I never got the phone call. I mean, Brad, he's... You know, he works overtime, so he's got a family. Every Sunday he's with the family, so can't, can't you know, get on the guy's case about that. Somebody post-workout, definitely. New World Nutritionals Whey Isolate and Quick Acting Carb, like a Gatorade or something like that, or some type of dextrose. Any kind of carb that doesn't upset your stomach is definitely what you'd be slamming down immediately. Brad's doing better. I don't know how much he's squatting now, but... <laughs> Captain Frogger says Brad's, Brad's too busy getting tattooed. Is Brad cookie cutter for working every time? No, he's a genius. That's time and a half. 
who I heard from Jab and spoken to him. I watched his recent lives. They're pretty good, good stuff. Highly recommend him. Uh, he has a good, because I guess he was a teacher at one point. He can capture your interest through the tone of his voice. He knows how to put sentences together, probably better than most anybody, so. I'm definitely watch that. Thank you, that one guy. I, I think I am pregnant. I've been pregnant for years. The Hoover Dam. My thoughts on PJ going to prison. He'll do well. He'll reach a lot of people. Come out a better man. I really believe, you know, he's going to have some, it'll be times when he's like probably going crazy, but you adapt. Everybody adapts. There's nowhere, nowhere you can go. So people adapt in there. Just have to remember, you got a short time and make it the best time. And remember, better to go to jail than go to hell. So I'm going to tend to this roast and hopefully I'll be able to interact with everybody on the uh, tomorrow or the next day. And thank you again for all your support and putting food on my table. Night in prison for me was just <laughs> sleeping. It's pretty much it, sleeping. We'd love to go all over the world. Hopefully we'll make it happen. All right, good night, and think freely for yourself, and better to die for, better to live like a, to live free and die than be a slave and live a long life. Just remember that. Good night, Jesse. Love you too, Michael. Jason, good to hear from you, and... Everybody, go get your meals, read a book, get on the internet, talk to somebody about intelligent subjects, pray, meditate, relax, wind down, wherever you are, go to sleep, get the deep REM sleep, turn the lights off, and just relax. Never be anxious or worry. We're here for a short time. Make it the best. Good night.